Right. Hello. I just wanted to post a quick welcome announcement before the semester starts. Just kind of talking you through a things, a few things specific to this class and hopefully address any questions you might have as we head into the start of the spring semester. So um, if you haven't yet, you will want to take some time to log into Blackboard and verify that this course is um, in your Blackboard course shell, so Global Foods. Um, the semester doesn't technically start until Tuesday, so you won't have access to course materials until we actually start, but please do spend that first day verifying that you are in fact enrolled into this class for the semester. Um, a really quick note about the course in general before I get into some specifics around the Blackboard course shell itself. Um, this is a global perspectives course and it's also an e-designated or ethics designated course. So what you should know about those two things really in a nutshell is we are going to explore different food issues throughout the semester. And with those food issues, we're also going to explore various ethical perspectives that we could apply to those food issues. So you'll learn about five different ethical types, so Kantian, divine command, utilitarian, virtue. Um, and as we move throughout the semester, you're going to learn what those ethical types actually mean, and then you will actually apply those ethical types to specific food issues that we're addressing. So in the first several weeks, I will actually choose um, what ethical type we're going to apply to that food issue. And then as, as the semester goes on, you'll be able to, after you've learned them, go through and apply what you feel best um, represents that. So. With the global perspectives piece, I really just want to iterate and reiterate that it is a perspectives course. So I like to tell students that really all perspectives are valued. All viewpoints, the way that you stand on a certain issue are heard, valued, and I appreciate you communicating where you stand on those specific issues. So I like to introduce to students that this is a safe space for us to explore those different food issues and we may all have differing opinions about what those food issues are all about. So with that I'd like to give you a little bit of a crash course to my Blackboard course shell specific. So when you first log in you're going to notice that everything lives under this like your landing space is the announcements page. So this is where I will always post announcements and I will also send an email to your student email address with that specific announcement. So that is where you will land when you come into the course shell specifically. Over on the left hand toolbar, you're also going to notice an area that says faculty information. So this just introduces um, me to you and lets you know uh, how you can reach me. So email is going to be the best this semester. I'm actually out on maternity leave, so I'm not physically located in my office this semester. So you either want to email or attend my office hours are really going to be the best avenues for us to connect for this semester. Also under that, you'll see there's a little direct link to email me through Blackboard if that's easier. So you can either copy that from here or you can click the email your instructor and connect with me that way. I typically do respond to emails within 24 hours, so pretty quick um, and I'm willing to help address any question that you might have. So don't wait until my office hours to connect if you have something that's pertinent and needs addressed as soon as possible. Um, I'm more than happy to work through that with you. Also over on the left hand side you'll notice there's a link that says syllabus. So this is where you will find our course syllabus for the semester. When you click on this, um, I always tell students this is really like a contract between you and me as your instructor to really just help you better understand the specifics of the course as well as my office hours. But the biggest and probably most important thing that I would say is on the course syllabus is the course calendar. So this is where I tell students you should really go in and um, recognize that you're in an online class so you get that flexibility to work through things at your own pace. You have a week to work through your course material. So you'll see everything is broken down by modules and the weekly modules are due on Mondays by midnight. So you'll want to go through and plug those specific things in so that you're aware of um, when those certain deadlines are. The course itself follows a similar structure every single week so you're always going to have 
um, information about that specific topic, but then you're also going to have a discussion board where you're going to contribute some thoughts and answer some questions about that specific topic. You'll have a short quiz that you'll take really just to check your knowledge and understanding of that specific topic. And then each week I'll be asking you to contribute current events and we'll talk more about what that means as we move on throughout the semester. Um, I do like to just send a like, FYI, I do try to freshen this course every like one to two years because global foods and food issues are constantly changing. And so I never like to just put the same information out there year after year after year because it is it is changing. It is very different. And so this is a semester where I am doing a lot of those changes. So revisiting a lot of the topics that we talk about, finding new information, those sorts of things. So if you're feeling like things are a little bit um, maybe don't feel like they're fully hashed out yet, um, fear not. Uh, each module you will have information that's relevant and um, pertinent for what's going on within the world right now with food, agriculture, those sorts of things. Like I mentioned, if you do want to connect via our virtual office hours, you can just come here. I am online on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 to 11. You can just click this link here. Again, if that works best for you. If you have a question and it's a Friday, go ahead and send me an email. Don't wait until the following Tuesday to attend my office hours. Over on the left-hand side as well, um, these are going to be the most two critical things that you will utilize throughout the semester. So like I mentioned, everything is broken out into a learning module. And those learning modules um, are opened when you have access to those course materials. Um, they don't close, so those learning modules will continue to stack. Um, and then you have a week to work through those course materials. So when you click on the learning module, you'll notice that within that, um, there's always going to be the same structure. So there's always an announcement. There's always a checklist, which students find really helpful because the checklist walks them through the specifics of those things that they need to complete for the week. So it might be to watch certain videos, read certain articles, complete your discussion board, contribute to your current event, um, submit this specific quiz, those sorts of things. So pay attention to that checklist. That helps you really kind of line out your tasks for the week and then check them off as you complete them. And then everything that you need from that checklist is embedded specifically within the module. So you'll find the course syllabus is embedded here, your syllabus quiz, and then that first discussion board that you need to complete. Those discussion boards do require that you post to the discussion board first before you actually can go in and access everyone else's um, posts. And the reason that I do that is because I really want you to think about your perspective and post what that perspective is before you have the opportunity to go in and view what your peers think. Um, so that really gives us um, very thoughtful, very um, intentional uh, posts that are based on what you really feel and then you have the opportunity to go through and read your peers' perspectives and respond to those. So just make sure that you're um, keeping track of that uh, throughout the semester. You do need to respond to at least three of your peers before the due date, so just make sure you're also going in and replying to your peers as well. I always tell students you should copy and paste these questions into a Word document. Go ahead and answer those questions, and then you can always paste them back into the discussion board. You never know when your computer's battery is going to die, blackboard crashes, your power goes out, something crazy like that, and you don't want to be in the middle of typing up a discussion board post within Blackboard and have that completely erased. So save it somewhere else um, and then copy and paste it back in for your peers to be able to view that. You can also get to the discussion board and the current events over here on the left hand navigation um, more quickly because um, I've just found that students like to be able to just go and click there rather than navigating through the module um, if they're ready to post their discussion board or their current event or those sorts of things. Uh, the other thing that I just wanted to reiterate um, is to make sure that you're checking your grades often. So your grades are your responsibility. When you're logged into Blackboard, you'll notice over on the left navigation toolbar, there is a thing that says My Grades. I would strongly recommend that you check those weekly. Um, I provide feedback to your assignments on a weekly basis. So there never should be a question of how you're doing in the class. Um, you should have very instant feedback and know how to improve on 
uh, certain areas of the course so that you can get the grade that you're hoping to earn for the semester. The last thing that I like to do because you're required to go in and do course introductions is also provide an introduction for myself. Um, so I like to just say really fast, there's probably three things I would share. The first thing is obviously centered around my family. So this handsome guy right here in the middle, that's my husband. He is a principal at Victory Middle School. He also teaches some courses here at CWI. We've been married for 15 whole years just recently. Um, this is Paisley. She's eight. She's a second grader and Hattie is five and she's a kindergartner. And just um, about eight weeks ago, we um, welcomed Juniper into the world. So we've got three little ladies um, that keep us very, very busy, but lots and lots of fun. I also like to tell folks that I really do love food. I love everything about food. It's probably why I studied agriculture in college. Um, I really love gardening. I love canning. I teach a fermentation science course on campus, so I really love making kombucha and doing lacto ferments on vegetables. Um, I love being in the garden and teaching people really about where their food comes from. So this whole kind of farm to plate movement. Um, I love cooking the delicious things that I grow as well. So it really is kind of this, I call it the pleasures of the plate. Um, and really kind of what this whole course, this farm to plate uh, and the issues around the food and how it gets to your plate. And, and should we be concerned about those specific issues? The last thing that you should know about me as well is I love going out to the racetrack. So um, we race throughout the summer out at Firebird and it's super, super fun. We do it as a family, my brother, myself, my aunt, my uncle, um, my grandparents, my dad. So it's kind of a family affair. We all go out um, and race out at the racetrack. So uh, that's a little bit about myself. I hope that throughout this first week, I get to learn a little bit more about you as you make that first post to the discussion board about who you are and maybe some food issues that you're thinking about um, for this semester that you want to be exposed to and you want to learn more about. As I mentioned, please reach out if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. I'm happy to address them. Otherwise, welcome to your Global Foods course, and I'm excited to start the semester officially uh, tomorrow.